Two memorials to young men lost too soon. One, a park built in honor of a fallen soldier. The other, a roadside tribute to the victim of a hit and run. But some people say that this tribute is actually disrespecting the soldier's memorial. Now they want it removed. As Christina Hager tells us, it's a fight that puts leaders in Lemonster in a rather uncomfortable position. On what has become sacred ground for two sons of Lemonster, a battle of memorials is brewing. We know her pain. We feel her pain. Pauline Roberge's army soldier son, Jonathan, was killed while serving in Iraq in 2009. This park was built for him and all military heroes. Now, seven years later, on the edge of what's known as Johnny Rowe Park, family and friends of another young man find themselves paying tribute to their own loved one. 19-year-old Frankie Fortuna killed in a hit and run in November. Recently I've been hearing people that they want to take this place down and you know I, I don't want that. This place is sacred to my friend. That is the last place Frankie was. Frankie's spirit left at that particular place. But the president of the group that built and maintains this park says it's become more than that. Basically it turned into a party spot and the kids were drinking and smoking marijuana and leaving us their trash. Right next to this there's been a petition to have the roadside memorial removed, then another one to keep it here. According to Lemonster's roadside memorial ordinance, mementos like this are supposed to be removed from public property within 90 days. That's right about now. So Fortuna's family is looking into who owns this plot of land and whether they can keep coming here. They feel that warmth and that, you know, that's where he was. And they're trying to hold on to that. Pauline Roberge isn't ready to force Fortuna's loved ones out. From one grieving mom to another, she says, just one condition. It's so important that they just respect, they keep the respect. In Lemonster, Christina Hager, WBZ News.